Today we're going to talk about how to attach the Hosokawa Micron VME 2.1 Cyclone to the base of your micro air jet sieve. First, we're going to confirm that all of the hosing from the vacuum, the network connection, the balance connection, the power for the vacuum, and the power for the unit have been detached. We're then going to turn the unit upside down, giving yourself a little bit of area so that you can lay the cyclone alongside here, and then remove the mounting feet. Okay, and notice the curvature of the base of the unit. Quite frankly, it's the same as your cyclone. So now we turn the cyclone so that it hangs down, as I mentioned before. So we have some steadiness there. Align the openings, reattach the feet. Okay, make certain that they are snug. You might have to loosen it for alignment. Okay. Connect them. Once they are firmly in place, reposition the cyclone back upward along with the unit. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to take the hose that was supplied with the unit, however we've reduced this in length so that it's short, shorter distance the better, and we're going to reattach it to the back of the air jet sieve discharge and to the inlet of the cyclone. From there, we're going to take the vacuum hose and connect it to the vacuum suction connection. After that is all connected and confirmed, Reattach your cabling, okay, the power supply for your vacuum, your power for your unit, and if you're using the balance, the balance communication. Lastly, we're going to connect the cyclone collection bottle or alias receiver bottle by means of the triclover. Connect it, you may have to back it off. And then resecure it. Make certain that the connections are firm so that there's no leaks. And congratulations, you've just attached your cyclone to your micro air jet sieve. Again, model VME 2.1 cyclone, micro air jet sieve, model MHASX can be either the basic and/or the advanced. Thank you.